Hi everyone, this is Carmen from the Featherweight Shop. Today I want to talk to you about painted machines. Specifically, I want to talk about the decals on painted machines. Now, there's a lot of featherweights out there that are in really rough condition and they're probably a good candidate to have uh, repainted. This one of uh, Ruthie's here, this pink one, uh, it was that, that type of machine. It was in horrible condition and uh, now it's uh, quite beautiful and she uses it almost every day. But getting a featherweight painted can be a little bit of a challenge. Most of the guys that paint uh, featherweights professionally are backed up, um, some of them even two years out of a waiting list. And so a lot of people try to paint featherweights themselves and it can be a lot of fun, a lot of fun projects and we've seen some beautiful featherweights out there that, uh, that people have tackled uh, themselves. Today I wanna to tell you some exciting news. Rick Armeo from Singer Featherweights Revived has just come out with some new decals that are superior in quality to, I believe, anything else that's out there on the market. I'm going to show you what makes these decals different and also show you how to apply them. So if you want to tackle this, if you've got an old uh, featherweight that uh, is in need of being restored, uh, I'm going to show you how to put these decals on. Most all the decals that are being used today are water slide decals. And so basically how they work is you've got a, a painted surface like this. Now this is just a couple old bed extensions that I just spray painted real quick just to, just to show you how they work. But you take uh, some scissors and you cut out the decals, you soak the decal in water, and then you slide it off onto the painted surface. And we'll show you that here in just, in just a bit. But the process of cutting them out and getting them to look good on here can be a little bit of a challenge, but not so with these decals. These are really easy to use with extremely high quality uh, results. One of the things that makes these decals so superior is how crisp the, the gold is. Uh, on, the, on the edges of it, it is a very sharp line. There's not any bleeding of the gold out onto the, the decal paper. So when it gets onto the machine, the gold looks extremely uh, crisp. And you'll see that when I transfer these here in just a minute. Uh, the other thing is the transfer material itself. A lot of times what you have to do with decals is they call, they call it fussy cutting, just like in your, your quilting. Uh, you have to take very sharp scissors and get just as close as you can to the edge of the gold so that that decal material is not showing around the decals itself and you kind of can see a little line um, under the clear coat on many painted machines and that's from the edge of that decal material. This, the decal material itself is right at the edge of the gold and so you simply cut it out. You don't have to fussy cut it. You just cut this piece out and then we'll, we'll get it wet and we'll slide it over and you'll see that just how crisp it is. Now these decals come in both of the original styles uh, that were common to featherweight decals. You got the earlier design like this and then they have the the later design that this works on the 221 and the 222 uh, this what they call a paper clip uh, style so on the 221K and the 222K uh, and they also have the different uh, fonts that were available throughout the different years for the Singer logo that went on the light housing. So these are uh, available for both your 221 and your 222K, as well as your original uh, early uh, 221s as well. We also have available this extra decal piece if you have uh, an early split base machine. If, you have, if your featherweight is split underneath the receptacle, it would also have a front mount uh, bobbin winder tension bracket and then therefore the decal came uh, through this area right here. So it's a little bit different on these early machines. And so we have this decal piece that fits that as well. So those are the different styles of decals and now we'll walk you through how to apply them. So first we're gonna cut out the decals that we're gonna to apply to this bed extension. Uh, as I mentioned before, you don't have to uh, get real particular with how you cut these out. You simply just take a pair of paper scissors and cut them, cut them out. I didn't try to get, I didn't try to get close at all to uh, the gold. Just cut them out very basic. 
Okay, I've got our decals cut out here. They're ready to go. And I've also got a plate here that is filled up with water. It's just uh, like room temperature water. And that's what we're gonna use to activate uh, the decal so that it'll slide off of the paper and onto our surface that we want the decal to attach to. So the decals are cut out. Now we've also got a plate here of just uh, room temperature water in it. And, uh, and then also just a little soft, you know, just like a kid's painter's brush, just a little brush. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this decal in this water. Uh, we're gonna put it face down in the water for uh, about 15 to 20 seconds. And while we're doing that, we are going to uh, take our brush and get just, just a little bit of water onto the area where we're gonna apply that decal. Just get it wet just a little bit here. And now we should be ready to slide the decal off. Now we've got this wet and we're gonna kinda put it in position and slide it off like that. Now we've got it onto the bed of the machine and we're gonna start putting it in position. You can use the brush to do this. Uh, you do have a little bit of working time. Just be gentle with them. Make sure that your edges are, edge of the decal is parallel with the edge of the machine. Then you can use your brush and start working out any air bubbles, any lines, a little bit of creases or anything that you would have in there. Uh, it's still wet, so we still got plenty of time to move it around. Still moves just fine. And then when you feel like you've got it in position, how you want it, you can just take a paper towel and lightly pat away the water that's on the surface there. And then you can take your brush again, look for any places where you would have any air pockets or anything like that. This is looking pretty good now. And now we're gonna soak the uh, other decal and we're gonna put it on this red bed, bed extension just so you can see how it looks on that color. Okay, we've got a little water onto the surface and we've soaked this decal. And we're gonna slide it off there. I'm gonna get it a little bit closer to where I want it to be. and we'll slide it off and into position. There we go. You can start positioning the decal. Man, those really stand out really nice on that red paint. And now we'll do some fine tuning here. Still, I'm able to move it. I can see I'm not, not quite parallel. Now you can see how both of them looked on the purple and the red. Quite impressive. So just to recap, uh, we've put the decal on here. It's now dried. If we were actually gonna be uh, using this, we would clear coat over this now and that would protect both the paint and the decal. So if you're ready to tackle this, um, we do have uh, both sets of decals available here at the Featherweight Shop. Uh, you can order them directly off our site and with free shipping here in the US. Well, I trust you found this helpful and you're ready to start your next project of painting a Featherweight. Uh, when you do, when you finish, uh, feel free to send us an email. We'd love to see photos of it. Uh, also, if you're on our Facebook group, uh, post a photo so that everyone can see. Have a great day.